What is up, insiders? Kyle from the Creator Content Strategy Team here today with a special myth-busting episode covering YouTube trending. Uh, we've seen a lot of questions and myths popping up in the comments and wanted to take some time today to address those. But I got roasted last time for jumping directly into the questions without providing background. So first, I'm gonna start by letting you know the goals of YouTube trending. So the goal is really to provide a set of videos that a wide range of viewers would find appealing. And this includes videos that are you know, showcasing the diversity of the platform, performing exceptionally well compared to other videos on the platform or other videos on the channel, aren't clickbaity, misleading, sensational, and also are you know, indicative of the culture and trends that are popular on the platform at the time. Now, what's important about this list of videos is that one, it, it's gonna be the same for every viewer in a country. So unlike suggested or watch next, it's not personalized by the user, but rather is personalized to the country. Um, also, the video list isn't static, so it will update roughly every 15 minutes so that we're showcasing the ever-changing nature of our platform. Cool. So with that, I do wanna jump into our first myth. The only way to show up on trending is basically to pay YouTube or know some employee of the company. And you know, obviously this, this isn't true. We don't, we don't accept payment to show up on trending and we don't have any favoritism or show any favoritism towards creators when considering eligibility of trending. Instead, what we do look at are things like view count, how quickly the video is generating views, where the views are coming from, including off YouTube, uh, the age of the video, and as I mentioned earlier, how the video is performing compared to recent uploads from the same channel. And what we do is we combine all these signals together to produce a list that showcases, you know, the culture, trends, what's happening on the platform at the time. And because of this, you know, it doesn't mean that videos with the most views are gonna be ranked number one, but actually it's possible that the top video on the platform or on trending could have fewer views than, you know, video at number five, six, seven videos below it. And in addition to avoid creators being able to, you know, run ads to drive a bunch of viewership to their video to be more eligible for trending, we actually exclude any paid views from our eligibility criteria. Now, with all that being said, we are very careful about what shows up on trending. And so we do have filters to ensure videos that contain excessive profanity, extreme violence, mature content, or are disparaging others in our community don't show up. And as part of this, we have a dedicated staff in the US and other locales that's involved as a final filter to ensure safety and appropriateness of the content served. Let's jump into our next myth. This one's kind of connected to the previous one. It basically says that YouTube trending is only for late night talk show hosts or big creators. And I, I wanna start by addressing the late night talk show host piece first. Um, you know, we've heard this loud and clear and actually in most major markets, what we do is ensure that at least half of the videos featured on trending are from homegrown YouTube first creators. Now, when it comes to, you know, trending only being for bigger creators, one, I would go back to what I said earlier, which is, you know, that we provide no bias and no favoritism towards any particular type of creator when it comes to eligibility to show up on trending. Um, but more importantly, we, we also house creator on the rise and artist on the rise on the trending tab. And if you're not familiar, these are basically um, slots where up and coming creators can be featured for a full day on the trending tab. This is a great way for them to get exposed to a new audience uh, and find new viewers. And so if you'd like to hear more about those programs, I'm happy to do a, a more in-depth video about them down the line. Definitely comment if you wanna see that. Okay, uh, the next question is kind of connected to this previous one, but it's creators asking, is there a, a set time or a golden hour for me to upload my videos to make it more likely that they'll be shown on trending? And the answer here is no, the list is updated every 15 minutes. So roughly every 15 minutes, you have a chance of showing up on trending. What's more important is actually to think about how your audience consumes videos. So when is the majority of your audience awake? When are they most likely to watch the content? And what is their expectation? Do you tend to post Mondays at 2 p.m.? Then you probably should continue to post your videos Monday at 2 p.m. versus throwing them a curveball and putting a video out at you know two in the morning, three in the morning, that sort of thing. And the last question is kind of a surprising one, but we've heard a few creators ask us if they can opt out of trending. Um, and while we don't currently allow anything like that, we do recommend that anyone who has concerns about being shown on trending reach out to us and let us know the details of their experience so that we can work to address them and overcome any issues you're experiencing. For now, that's everything from me. Definitely let us know in the comments if this was helpful. And also if you have additional questions about trending or myths you'd like to see busted or any other topics you'd like us to cover in future Creator Insider videos. Until then, stay safe and keep it real.